All right, I'm gonna use my winter break as an opportunity to go and get ahead in my work <laughs> and up my fashion as much as I can. <laughs> Cause I need to win that award when it comes around, gosh darn. My fitness has run away from me, quite literally. I'm doing much better with that than I am with my fashion, which is craziness, but okay, we're doing good. Nope, things were going well. Oh, Cthulhu, no, I needed to sleep and now it's gone, gone. And time to see Hitman Cavalt. All right, how's my grades doing? Doing good? Thank you, sir. I'll do my best, kind of. I should probably study this coming week, maybe, maybe. That might be a thing we do. 15 fatigue. It's not great, but we have a dato to go on. Let's go, let's go to the coffee shop. Yeah. Good afternoon, Miss Gooden. Well, thank you very much, sir. Let's be responsible. The salad. And you remain ever responsible. I just like it because it tastes good. Thanks for today. Always a pleasure. I am curious, why is John agreeing to meet with us every week? It's kind of weird for an actor slash producer to just meet with the random makeup artist every weekend. Hmm? Anybody? Anybody want to wager a guess? Oh, Meridia. Professor Meridia enters the classroom carrying several boxes. Alvin follows with a second stack of boxes. They lay the boxes out and open them to reveal rows of simple but delicious looking cupcakes. Excited chatter fills the lecture hall. Today we're going to have a contest courtesy of the campus's baking club, Sugar and Spice. Alvin here is going to hand out a cupcake to each of you, but don't start eating until I say so. Alvin takes a box and begins to distribute the cupcakes. As soon as Alvin finishes his work, Professor Meridia holds up her hand. When I say so, begin eating your cupcake. Whoever finishes first gets an extra credit point. A row of guys in the middle of the lecture hall cheer. Uh-oh, I'd really like extra credit, but I'm not sure I can compete with that. Oh, our grades are going down though, but this ruins our fitness. Uh, we'll enjoy the cupcake. I'll do some studying for sure next week. I'll earn my grades the old-fashioned way. Professor Meridia brings her hand down. Go! All around me, students hastily shove cupcakes into their mouths. A boy next to me sputters and coughs and a spray of crumbs covers his desk. Oh dear. Well, that's kind of gross. Across the aisle, a girl works her way steadily through her cupcake, pausing only to wipe icing from her nose. In the front row, a boy with a large frame and a shirt that reads, Eat, Sleep, Diving, stands and cheers triumphantly. His friends leap up and offer him crumb-covered high fives. Looks like we have a winner. Come see me after class for your credit. The rest of the class let out a groan of disappointment and I smiled to myself. I may not have won the extra credit, but at least I didn't just slam down an entire cupcake. I worked through the cupcake at my own pace for the rest of the lecture. Uh, no, I didn't sleep very well. Boo. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Man, things are really quiet on the Vice Versa set right now. Oof, I fatigue. I should have actually gone to the pho place instead of scheduling all that sleep. Because Sean is kind of unreliable in that department some of the time. Yes, and I've got quite a bit of wealth. Hmm. Oh, hello. And thus concludes the January meeting of the Vice Versus team of cool people. Are we still going with that title? I don't see you coming up with a better one. I don't mind it so much. See, Sean likes it. Then who am I to argue? By the way, Sean, I hate to ask more from you, but we'd really like to have you on board in a greater capacity. Uh, um, I would like that, but I don't want to fall behind on my studies. That's fair. I was thinking be with us at least once a week. Tuesdays, maybe? Then when summer rolls around, you can be with us every day. I can do that. Perfect. 
The network is waiting to see how well Vice Versus does before they put any more money into it. The first episode airs in two weeks. We'll just have to hope for the best. Until then, everyone keep the faith! Lloyd leaps up and heads for the counter. This is so cool! I'm just gonna take care of the bill. So, how do you plan to spend your break? I have other work to catch up on. And naturally, there's Adam's next release to worry about. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess you don't really have much time to spend just hanging out. With whom? Hooey! Well, that's gonna be difficult. Oh, wow! Sean is just, like, going for it! Sh dude, Sean! Wow, I... Salute! Respect, girl! Man, I wouldn't have the guts! No siree! I'm just going to be upfront with you. I'd like to spend more time together in a non-professional environment. In what capacity, then? <laughs> Whoa! She went- She went full! Full steam! Girl! Girl! Uh, I'm not ready for the inevitable rejection here. Um, romantic. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, man. Miss Gooden, do you understand what you're asking for? <sighs> I nod. I'd like to date you. I'm not sure how to respond. Yes or no works. Wow. But why me? I hate to belabor the obvious, but I'm nearly twice your age. You're interesting. I like your drive and ambition. You appreciate my own drive to work hard and how serious I am. It's hard to find that in guys my own age. This is truth. And in the interest of honesty, I also find you very physically attractive. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sean! Flustering all the Johns! You go, girl! Ah, I love Sean! I would never be had the guts, because I'm so flustered by John myself. Oops, did I actually embarrass him? Well, I find you interesting as well, and I do appreciate your ambition. I'm open to the idea of spending more time with you outside of work. As for romantic intent, you'll have to give me more time to think on that. Thank you. That's all I ask. Hey kids, what did I miss? Uh... I asked John out. John, <laughs> 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 abort! You're, go you're going to You're going too far! <laughs> Just... Shush! Shush! Don't make me sit on you, girl. I'm shocked at the words coming from my mouth. Guess I'm on a roll when it comes to being straightforward. What was in that pho? Lloyd, did you spike my pho? Don't tell me. He said he needed more time to think on it. Oi. Catching this guy is like trying to grasp the wind. Are you intent on embarrassing me in front of Sean now? Of course not. Just letting her know what she's getting into. I, I think I should really be going. Looks like there's a history here that I probably shouldn't invade. <laughs> no invade? That That's when you decided to stop? It was there? Gosh darn, girl. Girl! <sighs> I'm thinking. He said he wants time. Nope. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna call. Forget it. We're gonna go have tea and scones. Okay. I'm sorry. I think I need more time to think about your proposal. Right. Sorry to bother you. See you at work. Oof, did I move too quickly? Uh, I thought we were gonna go full ham, but no. Okay. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs> sleep off the rejection. <laughs> okay. Well. I did say I was gonna study. Let's study. And then sleep. And then work. Exercise. Maybe he'll talk to us Tuesday. Maybe. I don't know. I'm really worried now. Ah! There it is! There's the money shot! Sparkly John! 
Hey, girly, what's eating you? What? You've been distracted all day. Really? This is the third time I've called you, so yes, really. I'm sorry. Just tell me what's up. I asked John out the other day, and now he won't even look at me. You asked him out? Like on a date? Yes. You've got guts! Yeah, Rachel, you tell her, girl. You tell her. This isn't funny. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. But it sure explains a lot. Like what? Lloyd's been staring at both of you all day. It's like he's waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Lloyd, best wingman. Has John been acting strangely too? Hard to tell. He always seems a little distant, no matter what. Yeah, I'm starting to think asking him out was a bad idea. I think I blindsided him with it. Well, he is like twice your age, isn't he? He probably didn't even think of you as a romantic option. Yeah, it's because that makes me feel better. Sorry, but again, not what I meant. Yeah, I know, I know. Then what did you mean? I meant, how would you feel if a kid half your age asked you out? I say it depends on the person. I mean, Sean's super mature. Super duper mature and responsible. And she has ambition. I really don't feel like the age gap between her and John is that big of a difference, in all honesty. And I mean... It's the time- it's again like the same thing with Benito. It's the time that they meet and are romantically interested. Like her and Benito, if they met when she was like 25 and he was 21 or 22, it's not that big of a deal as it is when you're like 18, 15. It's the same thing with John. I think he's supposed to be like 32 or 33? And Sean's 18 or so? Um, like if- he, if they met when, let's say he was 50 and she was 35 or something, it's not that much, not that much of a deal. Not, not as much of a deal anyway, I don't think. And yeah, her person, her and his personality seem to jive pretty well. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Let's get back to this conversation. I can't date a nine-year-old. I feel so weird, even though I dated a 15-year-old. Like I'm taking advantage of a kid who doesn't know better. And yet that age gap is a lot smaller than the one between you and John. Well, when you put it that way... See? No wonder he's being all awkward. I didn't mean to make it like that. Of course not. Before you let this get any further, you've got to understand what you're asking for. I hope I didn't ruin the group dynamic or anything. You mean on set? Of course not. John's a pro. He won't let that ruin his performance. And you're a pro too, so prove it. You're right. I have to do my best no matter what. Thanks, Rachel. You rock. Tell me something I don't know. Ah, he's gonna leave us hanging! I shouldn't have called. Oh no. What do I do? Do I call him this weekend? I mean, we're doing his makeup, but he's still ignoring us like a butt. You butt! Don't do this to me. It's always the ones that I l fall in love with based on looks that I'm like, they give me such troubles. Such troubles in games. I'm so troubled. <sighs> I'm gonna do something ridiculous. <laughs> and I know this is really ridiculous. <gasps> I'm on his route though! Look! I got a little John Chibi! Don't you mess with me! You say yes! Ah! You butt! Alright. That's it. I'm, I'm, I never called you. <laughs> no, I did not. I'm going to sleep. Meh. You, you come to me, man. Sean ad admitted it to you, so you, you do your part. That's what I say. Ah. <sighs> I gotta work on my GPA still. I keep forgetting to study. Uh... Hey, girly. Interested in our lottery today? Yeah, sure. Gamble my sorrows away. Alright, kiddos. This week's lucky winner is... 
Alyssa, you win the grand prize. I guess I can't expect to win such a long shot. I guess not. Like my long shot with this beautiful man. Ah. As I finish packing up my things, I hear a knock on the door. Come in. Miss Gooden, we need to talk. Ouch. Miss Gooden. Not a promising start. All right, you go first. I confess in these past few months, my opinion of you has shifted a great deal. When we first met, I had assumed you were riding on Adam's goodwill. Circumstances forced me to place faith in you with vice versas, and you behaved professionally and with skill. And yet it was Lloyd who recognized your ability first. I had known you for months, but I failed to see it. So I suppose, more than anything else, I wanted to know why you've chosen me. I don't believe I have treated you well. Okay, I admit I did kind of really hate you at first. But I also understand that you were making judgments about me without knowing the whole story. The fact that you were willing to change your opinion of me after knowing me better, I think that's more important. So if you think I'm making a bad call because our relationship started off rocky, that's not really going to convince me. John Brandon, I would like to go out with you. And I know that we've had different life experiences and we're going through different things. But I care about my work and I know that you care about yours. I want to be with someone I can trust wholeheartedly. If you think I don't know what I'm getting into, then let me assure you I've thought very carefully about this. I must say, I admire your persistence. Very well. This is only the second time I've dated for non-work purposes, but you do interest me. I'm so flattered! The first, the, the second time he's only dated for non-work purposes. Everything else has been to advance his career. Damn, who was the first one? <laughs> hmm. Are you sure it's not gonna ruin your image to be dating the makeup artist John Brandon? I'm still hung up on that from Adam's root. I'm willing to give it a shot, but don't expect any of the lovey-dovey sort of new couple stuff. I don't have time for that. I doubt I have time for it either. I'm busy working on vice versas. What are you doing? Touché. I think I'll rather enjoy this. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like a game! A visual novel dating sim game. <laughs> Well, she slept better now, knowing that that's all dealt with. Mr. Brandon. Mr. Brandon. I could slap you. And kiss you at the same time. Look how beautiful he is. I do want Sean to, like, mess up, though, doing his makeup one time, just to see what <laughs> the chibi looks like. Ah, <laughs> mother! Boyfriend! Oh, my goodness. Hello, honey. Someone named John Brandon contacted us to say he's interested in courting you. He says he's an actor. He seems very nice, but are you certain he can take care of you? I've met a lot of actors, and they can be very unreliable. Someone with a more stable job is better, don't you think? Maybe you should bring him over sometime so we can meet him. Also, don't forget to eat. <laughs> Mom, no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's amazing. Man. John and my husband are so similar. It's so funny. <laughs> I am interested in courting your daughter. Anyway. Has anyone gotten a pair of those skinny jeans? I've got a pair. I love them so much. This has nothing to do with what we're going through. Ah, <sighs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. You butt. We're gonna go on a date. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Whereabouts did you have in mind? Well, let's start with a nice coffee date. Okay. We got some scones. God, he's starting off by calling us milady. You said no cute lovey-dovey couple stuff, and look at what you're doing. Liar. Greetings, milady. Your choice of wardrobe is lovely today. Thank you. Have you picked something to eat yet? I thought I might leave that part to you. Naturally. Those cranberry and white chocolate scones look good. 
Ah, another perfect afternoon tea. Yes, please. I hope you don't mind if I order for two. I'd much enjoy sharing those with you. Thanks for today. Always a pleasure. That's right, it is always a pleasure. <sighs> I'm so, like, exhausted from high emotions of the whole confession thing, and then him being a butt for two weeks. <sighs> My heart can't take it. My heart can't take that face. As Selena packs up her stuff, I notice she seems more distant than usual. Is something wrong, Miss Haraway? Hmm? Oh. That's a response, I guess. My agent called. There's a movie filming soon that's interested in me. Congratulations, that's great news. I don't know. I'm considering turning it down. Why? Filming might conflict with vice versa. My loyalty is to this show first. Why don't you speak with Lloyd about it first? Lloyd can be much too giving for his own good. He'd probably say yes no matter what. He's a nice guy for sure, but he cares about this project. If he needs you here, I'm sure he'll be honest about it. You're right. Sometimes I'm so comfortable with him as my friend, I forget he's also quite the professional. It might not be my place to say, but I think if you can make this work, you should go for it. Vice Versa is great, but I think all of us want to see you do well in your career. Thank you. I suppose I will have to approach Lloyd about this soon. Selena looks down at her phone and sighs. <sighs> it's hard to tell if she's even happy about this, but for once it seems like she isn't disappointed. That's good. I was kind of worried she was going to uh, interrogate us about the whole dating John Brandon thing. Glad that's not happening. Phew. Perfect. Well, I stare at the clock on my computer. The first episode of Vice Versa finished airing hours ago. I glance at the message boards, but no one has posted anything about it. Seriously? I stare at the screen, willing a new threat to pop up, but nothing happens. The buzzing of my phone breaks through my concentration. Hello? Woohoo! Well done, honey! W what We just watched Vice Versa. Well done. Your work is beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Hey, Ling, where's your bathroom? Down the hall on the left. Mom, is someone visiting you guys right now? We invited a bunch of our co-workers over for a viewing party. W what Your dad has been bragging about you to anyone who will listen. And several people who won't. You too. David, is that your kid on the phone? Sure is. Tell her she's cool. Hey, Sean, you're cool. Thank you. Anyway, we know it's late for you, so we won't keep you. Just wanted to let you know how proud we are of you. And we love you. Thank you. I love you both. Take care. And don't stay up too late. I hang up and look back at the untouched message board. There may not be any buzz online yet, but I've just gotten all the confirmation I need. I lie down on my bed and sigh in relief. Oh, this job might work out after all. Boyfriend? Just watched the first episode of Vice Versus. Wow, just wow. Who else saw it? I didn't have time tonight, but I will watch it as soon as I can. I love John Brandon and Night Era, so this is gonna be great. I totally didn't recognize Selena Haraway at first. Is she really the same cute little girl from all those shows we watched as kids? Oh, the heart's getting bigger. Alright, I'm gonna take you dancing. And if you say greetings, my lady, I swear. Okay, he didn't say that at least. Oh, here comes another round of self inflicted humiliation. And he enjoyed himself. Well, that's good. Okay. Graham. Let's go get pho. Let's go get pho. <laughs> Let's work. Maybe study. I think. Gotta get that grade back up. 
Fitman Cavalt. I know I'm getting kind of close to the edge, but thank you for letting me keep my grant. I need water. Meh. Fuh. Fireball soup. There we go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Sean, 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 Sean! Lloyd races toward me as soon as I step into the studio. E yes? Look! Lloyd points at the wall. It's plastered with a huge poster for Vice Versus. That's so cool. I know, right? The network sent over a ton of posters. Not as big as that one, of course, but still great. There are a bunch in the break room if you want one. Thanks, I'll have a look. I head into the break room and find a stack of posters on the counter. Here for the posters? Yeah, I saw the one in the main hallway. Lloyd said I could have one. You can have more than one. Take as many as you like. I think I'm gonna pay for a room at home with these. Rachel hoists up a stack of posters. Really? Of course not, I'm handing them out to friends. I'm afraid most of my friends are working on this project. More for me, then. You go crazy, Ray. You go crazy. Okay, about 24 again. Actually, I should go to the, co uh, the coffee shop and do some homework there. I could raise my grade like that. That actually might be a good idea. Okay, we got him sparkling again. That's good. Ugh, man, fatigue is just ridiculous, though. Uh, oh, mm. <laughs> Valentine's Day. I wonder if we're gonna do anything. The second episode was even better. I can't wait for next week. Selena Haraway's my girl. She totally rocked this episode. Oh, I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to see John last week, but it was worth the wait. Seeing him as Vice is kind of terrifying. I don't know. I think he's kind of hot. Lol. I've never heard John Brandon use an American accent before. It was actually really good. Valentine's Day is next weekend. Anyone got any plans? Eat chocolate alone. Gotta be sure to go into town and buy a gift. I don't actually know if we're celebrating Valentine's Day together. Yay! Hey, you wanna go get a salad? A salad? You and me? Okay, salad. I do remain ever responsible. Thank you. <sighs> okay, let's see. Fatigue. Okay, we're going to town and maybe going to town and do studying and then work and then going to town to get fun again. Because <laughs> we get so tired, even though we've been fitnessing so much. Yes, fitnessing. The verb. <laughs> Okay, and then we go to work. Hey, Sean, can we talk for a moment? Whoa, Lloyd used my name. This must be serious, right? Sure thing, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. It's just about you and John dating. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, there's a lot to talk about, and now's kind of not a good time. Is it okay if we meet up at FUD24 next week? Say, Wednesday morning? Yeah, no problem. Great. See you then. Oh, now I'm so worried again. Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> Hi, Benito. Bye, Benito. I didn't talk to you because I've got stuff. Uh, <laughs> I can't focus on work now. What's gonna happen with Valentine's Day? I don't know. I'm so nervous now. No. Uh. Hello? Good afternoon, Sean. Given that tomorrow is St. Valentine's Day, I was hoping you'd do me the honor of allowing me to take you to dinner. I like that. Where are we going? The hotel where Lloyd hosted our Halloween party. That place? But it's so expensive. I'm going to be horribly underdressed. No worries. I'll have that sorted out for you when you arrive. Just bring your radiant self. <laughs> if you say so. I look forward to tonight. See you then. My heart is going through such a roller coaster. I can't handle. He's like, don't expect lovey-dovey stuff. He's been the most lovey-dovey out of all the guys so far. 
and then Lloyd wants to talk? What does Lloyd want to tell me? I don't know. Okay, focus on the romantic date ahead for now. Let's do that. I arrive at the hotel and hang at the entrance for a moment. It suddenly looks different now that I'm here as a customer not to do work. The doorman watches me with a mixture of interest and amusement. I finally make eye contact with him. He smiles and opens the door for me. <laughs> the minute I step in, a woman in a crisp uniform approaches me. I immediately identify it as the uniform worn by employees of world-famous fashion designer, Guinevere. Excuse me, are you Miss Sean Gooden? I, I am. Mr. Brandon has asked us to prepare something for you, if you would follow me. The woman leads me to one of the hotel's back rooms and presents me with an evening gown. With his compliments. It's... I stare at the dress. The color fades from deep blue to a stunning ocean gray. The whole thing is embellished with a delicate lace flower pattern. It's beautiful. Would you like assistance putting it on? What? Oh, no, it's okay. Then I'll leave you to it. Just leave your clothing on the chair and I'll have it taken care of. Thank you. I stare at the dress and gently run my fingers along the fabric. I don't know if I've ever touched something so expensive in my entire life. I feel a little twinge of guilt. Is it really okay to accept something so pricey? There's a soft knock on the door. Sean? John! Um, hi. The staff informed me you arrived. Is the dress to your liking? Um, yes! It's beautiful! Hang on, I'll be right there. I quickly get changed and step out into the light. You didn't put on a suit? Why are you- <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I thought- I expected him to be in a tux at this point with this beautiful dress she's describing. John's face lights up as soon as he sees me. I knew it would suit you. He takes my hand, leads me to a table, and pulls out a chair for me. My lady. I take a seat and he does the same. I'd be a puddle of goo right now. How about you guys? I'd be a puddle of, I wouldn't be able to form a sentence in this state. Good grief. I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of ordering ahead. A server brings out two piping hot dishes and lays them out on the table. Duck a Laurent. Oh, Laurent. I can't, I can't say that. Oh, so it's, this, it's the same kind of dress we wore to our... Um, Award ceremony. <laughs> okay. Sounds fancy. As long as it's delicious. I take a bite and savor the balance of sweet and sour against the duck. It's amazing. Excellent. John and I spend a few moments in silence before he speaks up. I hope you like the dress. Where did you get it? There isn't even a shop for Guinevere clothing in the city. Gwyn's a friend, and she's in the area for a show. I should have guessed. All you famous, talented people are always friends with all the other famous, talented people. There was a time when I was just a theater major, and she was just a student making costumes. We all started at the bottom, but we supported each other during those times. You are forging similar friendships now. Years from now, you all have advanced the way Gwyn and Lloyd and I have. Oh, and Selena, of course. Selena's a friend of yours? Me, no. She and Lloyd lived next door to each other when they were teenagers. I didn't know that. Few do. But I suppose it would be rude for me to go into detail without their knowledge. That's fine. I won't force you. John looks down at my plate and smiles. So you did enjoy the meal. I follow his gaze and realize my plate is already empty. Oh! Um... Wow, that's a little embarrassing. It was so good I just kept eating. No need to be embarrassed. Food is meant to be eaten. I can't believe we spent all of dinner talking about work, though. This was supposed to be a romantic break. People like you and I don't take breaks from work. Discussing work is our break. It's so sad that that's true. Mm-hmm. Everyone has their interests. Ours just happen to be hard work and ambition. <laughs> when you put it that way, it makes me feel a little bit better. John stands and extends an arm. May I escort you out? Oh, I need to grab my clothes. It's taken care of. He reaches under his chair and pulls out small, a small fur-lined cape. <laughs> what is- I feel like I'm having a dream sequence of like the perfect date with the perfect guy and I'm gonna wake up and be like, he's not like this at all. This can't be happening right now. 
It's cold outside. It would be better if you wore this. He drapes the cape around my shoulders and leans in to fasten it. As he does, he whispers in my ear. You make this look beautiful. The warmth of his breath against my neck sends a shiver down my spine. Oh, that's so cute. Um, the thank you. Now if you'll excuse me, I must fetch my hat. Yeah, I've got to use the restroom. Of course. I'll be waiting for you outside, then. When I reach the lobby, I see the marble floor is currently awash with some sort of deep purple liquid. A staff member approaches me with an apologetic smile. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we've had a bit of a red wine spill. If you need to use the front door, please wait a moment while we clean this up. Oh, don't worry about me. I don't mind tiptoeing through a puddle. Not so fast. I swear, if you put your coat down... Like that, that darn knight for a queen... I don't know what I'll do. Let's turn to drinking. I'm gonna turn to drinking. I'm gonna drink that wine off the floor is what I'll do. Oh! <laughs> or you could do this. Sure. Actually, this is a much more acceptable option. Thank you. Thank you, my, my gallant knight. John scoops me up in his arms. It's a rude man indeed who watches idly while his lady friend steps through mud. It's wine. I'm confident the principle still holds. I really don't mind, you know. Sean, your independence is one of the most admirable things about you, and far be it from me to deny you that. But please let me spoil you once in a while. I'm really not used to things like that. I am aware. If you need an excuse, then just imagine that my good friend Guinevere would be devastated to find one of her dresses has been stained with wine. <sighs> I rest my head against John's shoulder. Fine, fine, spoil me. Thank you. John carries me to his car and drops me off at my dorm. Thank you so much for dinner and for this amazing dress. And thank you for your much desired company tonight. I shall see you at work. See you. Girl, you didn't kiss him! You didn't kiss him after all that! Girl, I slap you. I slap you so hard, girl. Girl, I don't know why I'm girling so much. I'm so broken. I've been broke. This man has broken me. All right, gang, you know the drill. What did you think of episode three? The mystery this week was a bit, little bit weaker, but Katarina's backstory made up for it. I know, right? I can't believe she cut his face when she was only 16. Girls got guts? <sighs> the heart! But Lloyd wants to talk to us, I'm worried. Hey, do you wanna go somewhere? <laughs> Let's go do some driving. After that romanticness, I need to like go drive some cars. <sighs> Let's just drive. What? Back for more? Hey, now that I'm wise to your tricks, you won't have such an easy time. I pull ahead of John as quickly as possible and spend the rest of the race clinging onto my lead. <sighs> Meet Lloyd at 424. Not looking forward to that, I'm so. 